Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today we're taking a look at a fantastic floor plan. I think it's super underrated. This is the 2023 Jayco J Flight 263 RBS model. You're sitting about from, from front of the tongue to the back bumper, sitting right about 31 feet in length. You are just shy of 6,200 pounds. I believe it's 6,170. Yep, 6,179 pounds dry. And you have one slide out. And this is a great 30 foot model for a couple. Possibly you have one or two people coming with you, but for the most part, two people or a single person camping that want the same space and similar layout to what those bunk models offer, but just a larger bathroom. A lot of people are looking for that, you know, they want the, they don't want to sacrifice the dinette or the theater seats, but they still want that um, space like the bunkhouse has they just want, they don't want the bunks long story short so this is a perfect model for that um exterior i've gone over jayco quite a bit so i don't want to go over the basic stuff here but let me just review that the outside kitchens for 2023 uh in 2022 is a little confusing with jayco some models came with outdoor kitchens some model uh, if the griddles was like a whole thing so what they did was they have this attachment this port on the back of the unit. If, you, if the unit is has an outside kitchen, it will come with a tabletop and a griddle attachment, okay? Now, if it does not have an outside kitchen, it will still have this hitch, whether it's in the middle of the unit or on the end of the unit, but it will not come with the tabletop and griddle unless you order it with it, or it has the outside kitchen. So if it comes with a fridge, it comes with a sink outside, it will have the griddle attachment there. So that is um, a nice feature. You've got an outside kitchen here, right next to the awning. I love that they don't put it under the awning. So I had a used unit come in a couple weeks ago. We had to replace the awning because somebody clearly cooked underneath it and actually burnt a hole in it and had some black duct tape to cover it up. So definitely want to make sure that that is outside of the awning so that that doesn't happen to you. So great, um, great layout overall for camping and hanging out outside. Your upgrade for 2023 include a suburban um, on-demand hot water heater now, which is awesome. That's that's going to run off your propane. So t uh, basically a tankless water heater, which is super neat. Uh, Goodyear tires. Um, we have now gone away with the J Flight and the J Flight SLX models. You're just going to have a J Flight. So you don't have two separate lines. They are now merging as one for 2023. And you will get the steel rims, but still with the upgraded Goodyear tires, still with the galvanized steel wheel well. You're still going to have that two-year warranty. You're still going to get that Magnum Trust roof system. I mean, they're, they're not limiting the features on these babies still, okay? They're just trying to bring that price point a little bit down so that it's more affordable for people. You have got bracket out here for your TV. It does come with a mount for the outside TV. Now this model in particular has two uh, doors, which I really like. You do not get the upgraded steps into the bedroom, but you do have the Lippert solid step upgrade in the main living area. Uh, should we do a quick walk around the outside, Alex? Or you think we should just go right inside? Outside? outside. Inside? Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Executive decision. I feel like I've done enough on exterior stuff. Outside shower, you know, you get the whole yards. Okay, standing in the floor plan, I'll circle while you circle to kind of show them what's going on here. You've got this really open concept in the middle, which is awesome with the one slide out. You're gonna have a, um, I almost said flushless slide. A flush slide, no carpet, love that. This is optioned with the theater seats, super nice. Um, they are just a pull recliner. Okay, and they're directly across from my entertainment center. Now, um, again, they are prepped. It's ready for a TV. You're gonna have to get a bracket and have a TV installed. Or, you know, maybe you want a TV to sit here and you just wanna use this back area as storage. Up to you, but you gotta be able to secure that TV when you travel, so just watch out for that. Um, your radio controls are right here. You've got inside and outside speakers. And then no upgraded panel here. You just have your buttons for your awning, your slide, your tanks, all that jazz right here. Now, creme de la creme, before we go over the kitchen, is this bathroom, guys. This is massive. So normally the bathrooms are cramped to the side and you've got the bunks. Here, because you're no bunk beds, you have a huge bathroom. Not a fan of the plastic toilet, but you know, again, price point. It's, it's still nice. I've got lots of leg room. My toilet paper's in a good position, right, Matt? 
Um, and you've got this big shower. I mean, this is massive, okay? And I love that um, Jayco secures their showers with plywood underneath this. So normally there's um, block foam underneath the showers, but they add a layer of plywood so that this way you don't have that P-trap wiggling, which helps prevent leaks over time. So super strong, sturdy shower, okay? I can jump up and down in it. I can throw my hands up, wave them like I just don't care. <laughs> and um, you have a skylight here. So I am 5'2". Probably someone a little over six foot might start to have issues. Your head would be in that um, skylight. But also for 23, Alex pointed out, check out this different shower surround. So now instead of having that, like, it, it kind of was tacky plastic mold. They just put a flat, flat surface here. Super nice. Now keep in mind, you will see a gap around the shower, okay? That is to allow the condensation to come back out. But this plastic does go up several inches. You see where these pins are? They go up above that. So you will not have any issues. If you have water here, don't worry. Please don't caulk that, okay? There's a reason that it's open like that. I know some customers have asked me about that. Okay, plenty of counter space in the bathroom. I like that. You've got this sink, um, plastic sink, but it'll do the job, okay? I can, I can wash my hands pretty well. And I have a towel rack here. I also have my controls for my Suburban. Come, can you see this from this angle? Come around. It's okay. Say hey in the mirror. Um, suburban tankless water heater right there, right? No um, cabinets, just the mirror up against the wall. But all good. Still love it. I am a fan. You've got some storage here. Not super deep. Here, let me see that camera. I'll just quickly show them. So you could probably wrap some towels in there and set them up. Everybody say hi, Alex. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you were not planning on being on camera, but... I did that to Ashley in my last video. I feel like I should introduce my camera people. Okay, so entertainment center, theater seats. Dinette is pretty nice. You can sit four people comfortably. It does have legs, right? So it's a little bit of finagling, but you have storage underneath the dinette, which I'm a fan of. Maybe get some of those um, from the container store, like containers that pull out for storage down there. Also new for 23 is this um, front facing this, this new fascia, I guess, is what it's called for the front of the fridge. Um, very simple and plain. It's not kind of, the, the old ones were like paneling, but they were having issues where the paneling was falling off. So I kind of prefer this than that that's gonna fall off on you. So nice clean look. This is a Furion. Uh, it is in a 12 volt fridge, which is super nice. Check out how big that is. So again, um, companies are starting to move towards the 12 volt system and away from the gas electric. So starting in January, I believe the Jayco's are running 12 volt on the J flight line, 12 volt standard with the option for gas electric, okay? By the way, we're halfway through the video, so I just wanted to shout out, if you haven't hit that like button and that subscribe button already, please show me some love and do so, and check it out. We now have moved to our Blue Compass logos and labels, so in future videos, you'll see me in the dark blue polos with our awesome compass directing us towards the horizon. <laughs> um, corner kitchen here is great. Let a decent amount of prep space for the size of the unit. Three burner cooktop, right? You've got your little oven. And as I love to point out, your popcorn microwave, because it is very tiny, but it'll do the trick in a pinch. Um, plugs in the corner for your crock pot, your Keurig, your, your um, Nespresso, if you fancy. Whatever you want to put in that back corner. And then you have two sinks here. Um, and no pull faucet, but that's okay. This will do. Your bedroom, moving into the bedroom, right, last but not least. I Oh, you know what I missed? because I just saw the breaker box, Alex. Let's go back and talk about this. Another feature for 23, which is huge, is they used to put the breaker box here and you would lose storage. So now for 23, they've got this massive storage. This is perfect for like bigger pots and pans that you're gonna be using to cook outside because that's a false panel as well. And so people would always wonder where to store them. So this is a great, um, great drawer for that. And I remember that because now walking into the bedroom, your breaker box is right here, which is pretty neat because even with the slide closed, I can access it very easily right by, by via this door. Okay, bedroom is nothing crazy, right? You've got your side nightstands with plugs. You have some um, storage on either side. Alex, if you want to open that one up, see if that one has a, the also, it's a hanging rod. Yes. So hanging usually rod. they do like half hanging, half shelves. Um, cut out up here as well for storage. I like that. You are pre-wired for solar if you want to add solar panels on the roof and you are prepped for the TV bracket that you could get a TV in your bedroom. 
Last but not least, I will say I love that A, there is a barn door here. So Alex, if you come right in here and show them. Some models have like the half wall with a curtain. This is a full door for privacy. Now for fire safety reasons, you have a gap at the bottom so you can still po possibly hear what's going on out there if you have two guests sleeping on the dinette here or whatnot, or maybe somebody likes to go to bed early like me. I'm at 8, 8.30 p.m. and I'm, I'm in bed for the night. <laughs> um, but uh, overall, I can get around pretty easily so it's not super tight in the bedroom. Last, I will point out you have some TV trays for your theater seats. So if you choose to have a TV dinner or you just want to chill, I like to lay down when I'm, when I'm eating dinner and watching TV. So that's nice. And um, here is the table since we're here. Here's what the tabletop looks like that that griddle goes on, right? And it has an extension arm that comes out a couple feet from the side of the unit. Finally, I want to point out that this is plywood, okay? Everything, all these things in Jayco, they're real plywood. There's no particle board, OSB board, beaver puke, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is strong. And they do reinforce this with the gas struts so that I can access the storage without having to, you know, knock my head, hold it up with my shoulder, as well as this extra brace, okay? Some other companies are just not doing this stuff, and it's things you don't even notice unless your salesperson takes the time to point it out. All right, and I think... That about covers it, Alex. What do you think? Did I miss anything? Uh, I think you did a pretty good job. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Again, this is the 2023 Jayco J Flight 263 RBS. If you're in the market, we are located in Castleberry, Florida. Blue Compass RV is our name. We're right off 436, about 30 minutes from the Orlando airport. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy camping.